My biggest role model and mentor was my father. He was very learned, especially in history and philosophy. He was a brilliant speaker. He was a terrific father. I grew up in my Zaidi synagogue. It makes me so proud to be the third generation Rabbi Wolpe in the family and the first woman. I think there are so many lessons that I learned from my mother. One of them was that she took the trouble to force us to do things we didn't want to do. She was game for almost anything. She not only went cross country in a Winnebago with four of us and my father, that was six weeks basically in a big truck with five men and a very small bathroom. And also my, my brother Paul had a boa constrictor. And I admire that sort of motherly courage. David's dad taught him a love of language and how to use it. But his mother taught him many of the life skills that helped him be such a success. The Wolpies are like family to us. They come for a lot of holidays. And every time Samara comes, I'm always struck by how much she's like her dad. I find a kindred soul, someone who is like me, but with a sensitivity beyond my own. And it is an astonishing thing to behold. I first met David Wolpe at Camp Ramah in California at Ojai. I was the rabbi in residence that summer. I was always on the lookout for good talent for rabbinical school, and David was a prime candidate. I never thought that I would be a rabbi. I was going to be a writer and a teacher. I suggested that he consider going to rabbinical school. His love of Judaism, his love of Jews, his love of leadership would offer him an incredible opportunity. My destiny was shaped, although I didn't know it at the time. At the UJ, we recognized right away that David had an amazing speaking ability. I met Rabbi Wolpe when he was 25 years old. The first book that I wrote, which was called The Healer of Shattered Hearts, I thank Francine and Miles and the Sinai Temple community that I was able to have enough money to sustain myself while I wrote the book. I turned to my husband, Miles, and I said, this young man will be the future of the Jewish people. David began leading services in the Rickles Gym in the early 1980s, and we ran to be part of that congregation of people. Rabbi Wolfie was so inspiring and so relevant. He could reach all of us. For 13 years, 14 years, I did that service upstairs in the Rickles Gym. David is the definition of a leader. He's a great communicator with an ability to be both provocative and unifying. Mark impressed upon Rabbi Wolpe from the get-go that Los Angeles was the exact right platform for his ability to inspire a nation full of Jews. When I first came to Sinai Temple, people were unbelievably helpful and warm and welcoming. They also really wanted the combination of rabbi and congregation to soar. Rabbi Wolpe spoke to all our universal concerns. We all benefited from it and were uplifted. During the beginning of David's tenure with our synagogue, his family faced a lot of challenges. We did have a tough go. After Samara was born, her mom was diagnosed with cancer. I was diagnosed with a couple different cancers. When a crisis hit the family, I learned from Uncle David that you don't hide. Not only did everybody want to stand by him, but he stood by all of us through all of our challenges. Rabbi Wulpi is not only our teacher, He's our friend. It's a family. Our Sinai Temple community has flourished because of it. They are a model, a tapestry of cultures that live together, learn together, and grow together. He speaks to people in a way that touches them. Building a sacred community means people who care for one another and also look beyond themselves to a greater purpose. When Tom and Judy Flesh brought the idea of the Elaine and Gerald Wolpe Parenting Center, I got tears in my eyes. To honor the legacy of David's beloved parents while celebrating David is incredibly meaningful for all of us. It's a congregation that loves the state of Israel. We understand ourselves to be a collective force in the Jewish world to do good. Rabbi Wolpe has a spacious way to communicate he loves Israel, and that's why everybody loves him. 
Rebecca, whom I call the indispensable Rebecca, she's sensitive, she's smart, she's funny, and I feel enormously lucky. I've had the honor of working with Rabbi Wolpe for over 15 years, and I'm always so moved by his constant caring and consideration for our congregation. And I've told her a million times that the day she leaves, I'm leaving. For the next 20 years, I believe that the sky is the limit for Rabbi David Wolpe and the Sinai Temple community. Rabbi Wolpe is an incredible role model for the entire synagogue. He's always pushing the community to think deeper, wider, and more progressively. Whether it's reaching out to Los Angeles Jewry, the Dalai Lama, or bringing in interfaith dialogue across the board, he is passionate about these conversations and connecting all of us. David not only inspires his own community at Sinai Temple, but his voice is heard nationally and internationally. He touches people all over the world. He always tries to talk about uh, what can be done. We love, trust, and respect him. What I would like to see Sinai do in the next 20 years is I want to learn how to do what we do now better through community, through Torah, through learning, through laughter, through love.